So we're over here hiking around to one of the mines on South Mountain. We're following an old two track. Oops. And here's our first mine remnant. We got some braided cable attached to the boulder. And there's some old two by fours and wood bits over there. We're gonna continue heading up and I've been told there's a mine up there. At the rock, but we'll see what we can find. We got an intermittent stream down here that leads to the bottom. This is actually um headed up an old two track road past the lost ranch. So let's see if we can find anything. All right, so we're getting pretty close to where I believe is the mine. So we have a spot up here which looks pretty flat. We've done some excavating, and the old two track. Is now this now really crude um trail. Now the old two track is all the way down there. There's the two track. And it kind of degrades into this single just this single path trail. It's all rattlesnake, so be careful if you, if you come up here. This is definitely not a well-traveled trail. You can't see it, but oh wait, can you see it? I don't see it. Somewhere, somewhere behind that mountain and rock that um, Lost Ranch is down there. I don't see it though, but it's down there somewhere. We've climbed about 800 feet from the parking lot at least. This here has got to be at least 500 according to my GPS. So we're going to continue up. We're almost there. Well, we made it. This here is the mine. And the coordinates see our uh, oh, damn it okay there we go there you go there's your coordinates give or take six feet so if you want to come up here that's what you're going for Let me put that back to my phone to my back one second Give me a second. Uh, here we are. Okay. Here is your time. So it's about take about an hour to get up here. Now I did stop a call along the way to uh, look at the GPS and take video. So you might get up here faster. It's about two miles to the top, and that's your elevation. So not bad at all. Oops, wrong one. Here's your elevation, so as you can see, we are at about 1918, and parking lot's down here, so you're about looking at 700 feet of gain, so not a bad hike for most. Okay, on to the mine. Now, mines are dangerous, and I saw a bat fly out, so that's as close I'm going to get. Pretty cool as you can see in there, it looks to go pretty deep. I'm surprised they've not blocked this thing off because you know, mines are dangerous. You got bats and poisonous gases. You fall in there, and you might die. Which is why treasure hunters die because low, you know, low gases, you might choke and stuff. We got another mine here. This one looks like it's caved in though. Yeah, definitely a mine. This one's caved in sadly. It's like a rock fall. And we got some mine diggings here. Now I'm no geologist, but we got some quartz. See, I think this is copper, maybe some oxidation from the rust. So see that? Pretty cool stone you got there. Not sure what this yellow stuff is. Might just be more oxidation. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, and this actually follows an intermittent stream. It's, stream's not flowing now. Who knows how much waste got dumped down this thing. See some old mine remnants, some twisted um, cables. All rusted, of course, because then they're, they're gonna haul this stuff down. So yeah, really cool. 
Just gonna take a look out. I think you can see the um, speakeasy lodge. What's it called? The old lost, lost ranch room from here. Eh, I'm just see them barely. Let me get a bit closer. Yes, yeah, this is a good view. So quite nice. Very. Oh, look at that. Oh, I gotta zoom. I'm dropping my stick. Uh, so I like some hawk or something. I didn't get a good picture of it though. So that down there is the uh, Lost Ranch Ruins. That's the end of two track. Oh wait, actually goes a bit farther up. But yeah, pretty much follow the two track up. Then it turns into a, an old single track. So really cool view. Definitely a less traveled trail.